I am with Mark, a.k.a. Uh, seat baller sitting in the side seat baller, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there is his car right over there. So we're going to do some testing today. Uh, mine's the outdated old software. 32.12.2. Yep. And, and 36.2. You sure? Yep. We'll have it in, I'll have it in the video title anyway, Perfect. just to be on the safe side. And I'll have a link to... Your YouTube channel in the description as well, so make sure you guys check them out. Make sure you link to yours also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we have a nice straight run here today. We're not bothering anyone. Uh, we're going to try to go the same speed here, see how f long, like how it slows down and stops. Uh, then we'll do the same experiment with your car with a similar speed. All right. So, we're in Mark's car now because mine was not ready. Uh, just having it heat up over there. Hopefully, we can get full regen. See, you look, you have some dots. Oh, so do I, yeah. Yeah. We just got to count the dots, make sure the dots are comparable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the charge, though, too, I am uh, about 78%. You're around 50. Yeah. So, version 10, uh, 2019, 36.2.1. Can I see what's new? Release notes. Three. Oh. oh, I was going up here. <laughs> To bring it up. So I went through this already, so... So we have stopping mode, which we're going to look at. And you have to adjust this in the settings, right, for it to work? Correct. Okay. Scheduled departure time, which is huge. I know there's a lot of third-party apps and stuff that do this. Do uh, the fact that it's built in is way better. It's really like this. Uh, power increase by approximately 5%. Have you noticed it? Like, I know you did one I, short drive. Literally, from here to here, I, I didn't want to punch it yet. Okay. So I didn't, because of the, the back streets on there, so I was waiting until we're on a safer street. Okay. Yeah, so I did not. Oh, automatic navigation? Navigation, yeah. When you get in your car, it automatically route to places in your upcoming calendar, to your work when you're leaving home, Monday through Friday. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so if every day you're leaving at 7.30, let's say, to go to a, your work... Yeah. It'll automatically, in the morning, say, like, basically, once you get in the car, it's already getting you there. So, yeah, it's automatic navigation? Navigation, yeah. So, you yeah. turn it on or off. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And where was the... So, in the uh, driving. Yeah. So, here, so, another thing to note, it was actually on roll when I first got into the car. You have to have the car in park before you can adjust these, just like before. So, now there's your hold mode. Maximizes below 8 kilometers per hour. So how does it work? Well, I mean, we're going to test it now anyway, but yeah. when you go below 8 kilometers an hour, it just automatically uh, starts stopping? Correct. Um, so the difference to it, it takes a bit to get used to. I mean, well, just two or three times. So before, we're used to, uh, you know, depending how fast we're driving, as you're coming up to the light, you kind of let go off the accelerator. And as you're waiting for it, to uh, slow down, you know I'm gonna pretty much get to the lights. Yeah. Now it's like you're stopping well before the lights, so you got to get used to releasing the accelerator. So I'm gonna go up to five. Yeah. And look at that. So that's and so cool. To hold right away to hold. Like that's nuts. Okay, that's you know? so cool. I'm already impressed. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up to forty. Yep. Bumps here. And we're releasing. I hit actually 41. No, we didn't count any poles, but just to show that it actually stops. Yeah, I did not touch the brakes at all. Like brakes here, see, I'm used to the car is going to be rolling to make this turn, but I actually have to touch the accelerator more. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, you, you're going to get good at it, where you can stop Correct. at just the stop sign, kind of like how we got good at this, where you can Correct. get the distance yes. out. Try to use my car as the marker. Yeah, like, to see if we're going to hit it or not, you mean? No, like, go up to 40. <laughs> go up to 40, and then... Go to 50. Okay, go to 50, and then start slowing down when my car is... Like, let go at my car. Trying to go to 50... Whoa, whoa. No, 45. 45? Yeah. Okay. And then you let go. Yeah, I go once we get basically got to your car. Okay. So... Hold it here. Let's go out and let's count the spots. So it's 10 and this much. So. What is this? Ice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to. 
so random. We're gonna flip. <laughs> we're gonna flip cars. We're gonna move this one over there. That one. We're gonna go for a drive down there, and we're gonna do the same exact process. All right, I'm gonna smart summon my car out of the spot in just a moment, but Mark did notice something. So also on reverse, uh, where we get that little bit of roll, the car is not rolling now at all. So I released it, and it's like that's it right so down cool. And a complete stop. So that's definitely gonna take a lot of getting used to. Up to forty. Forty? Yeah. Let go. It was like forty-one, kind of like you. Yeah. And you can see here, the lowest it will go is. Yeah, eight nine, and then it stops. Yeah. As per Tesla notes, it's actually eight. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're not on flat ground. This is not the most scientific experiment, but you can see it is still. Go, like we're still moving so whereas yours would have come to a full stop a long time ago Did. yeah yeah so 45 yeah so i'm doing slightly different than you whoa 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 <laughs> <laughs> fail <laughs> we're gonna leave that in there so basically whenever we're gonna go towards this car i'm gonna go like this now i did it slightly early but well wow i was there so we're uphill to two, two, three, four, four more than uh, where I stopped. But keep in mind, we're uphill. So that's the only reason why the car is actually slowing down. And As, you, did you actually put the hold on, right? I put the hold yeah. on now, yeah. Obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it automatically. Yeah, we would start rolling back. Well, here. <laughs> There's no cars behind me. See? So you can see we're getting closer to Mark's car. Uh, I'm not doing nothing. This. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is scheduled charging. So to get to it, you go here to the charging icon. Uh, same as before, but when you hit schedule, before we used to only have like a start charging time. Now we can have a departure time. So you can say, you know, all week or weekdays or whatever. And it will precondition your cabin on weekdays only. It's important to note, which is Monday through Friday. And you can actually set a time of whenever you leave. So, you know, if Mark wants to leave at, I don't know what time he leaves, but if Mark wants to leave at 6.45 every day, he can have the set. So every day his car will be ready to go at that time, uh, which is really cool. Like this part of the update is really neat. Yeah, another good addition. Again, we had some third-party apps, but not a lot of people want to download them. So now you can actually do it without having to worry about downloading it. So thank you again, Tesla, for another little thing. Um, also, this preconditioning cabin. So for me, for example, I'm in the garage. I don't need that. I can uncheck it. So I can still have it where it's going to stop charging uh, for like for our uh, rate of uh, charge fees in Ontario. Yeah. So we can have it where it stops charging at that time. Gotcha. You yeah, know, that's true. It actually, makes right sense. there, to complete your charging before peak electricity rates begin to reduce your energy cost and consumption. Yeah. So it has it right in there. Yeah. And ensures consistent regenerative braking and performance. Yeah. So this this part of the update's really neat as well. Such a small update in terms of features, but like quality of life changes that make a world of difference. Definitely. So it's a good way of yep. explaining this update. Uh Real quick on the whole power increase, we tried our best to capture it, uh, but it was really hard to capture just based off other cars on the road messing up our attempts to do it as safe as possible. And Mark's here laughing. We've tried it a lot. We we have like we spent a lot of time trying to see the difference between my old outdated car over there. Look, did you caught that right? It said three eighty two. Yeah. And we're not even, we're, we're using energy. It I went know. up to 382. Sorry. I kind of, look. Yeah, 381 to 382. See, I'm telling you, I was at 370. I knew it. So we just gained five kilometers just sitting here putting our energy into the vehicle of Tesla community. It, you know why? We're uphill. <laughs> <laughs> so we should be using more energy. So we're going to be rolling back. The car expects we're going to be rolling yeah. back. Yeah, that's why. Go, roll back. Roll back. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this update video. 
little different than how I normally do update videos. I actually have help today, which is cool. Again, check him out uh, in the description below, link to his YouTube channel. Uh, thanks, Mark, for letting me see the update, considering my car is old and outdated. So thank you for allowing me to be part of one of your videos, because you have been a part of mine. For sure. So uh, make sure to leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe for the latest Tesla stuff, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And how about this? Let's go to my house, connect to my Wi-Fi, and let's see if you can get it. <laughs> so you see here, this is not my garage. We're at Mark's. My car is still lying to me. Checking for update. Your car is up to date. It's not.